Hey Pisces, thank you so much for joining me here today for your reading. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, there's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. The first card I got was the Sun, you know, the most positive card in the entire tarot deck. This is for the overall energy between you and your person connection here guys don't forget to like if you've just joined it really does help me out um uh could be dealing with a leo as well leo energy here uh, but i just thought wow okay what a great card to start with then i got a card from the good tarot hope so we've got like luck and hope coming out here you know and look at in the hope card you know there's this huge ball of light here it almost looks like a feminine energy in the middle of it here and it's like the sun you know this is divine masculine energy as well um huge huge amount of of luck like it's luck light you know just there's just great hope here some of you may not be feeling that i just feel this kind of it almost feels like your hopes kind of fading, but it's just to me, this energy is, you know, great kind of strength and and good things on the way, you know? So we may get some cards that are a bit kind of bleak coming out. I just feel, I don't know, it just feels like kind of people losing hope, but this is like the overall energy. So, you know, just hold on to that, loves. Hold on to that energy. Um, you know, and it this is an eight as well. This breaks down to this card, which is about, you know, luck and abundance as well. So keep that light shining, you know, for your person. Okay, now I just want to get into why I keep saying this is a Queen Diane tarot reading. Um, some of you may have seen my community posts about this, um, which... I did remove because I don't want to give this other channel really any kind of um, more attention than they're already trying to get. But there, there is um, a channel on here that is stealing readers' content, um, including myself. They're stealing my content. Um, so yeah, it's happening to a lot of readers, I've been told. But this particular channel, you know, is taking like... For instance, my Virgo reading that I did last week, uh, they took my entire audio of my reading um, and just altered my voice slightly and hid the actual reading. Um, so they just have like a static picture instead of the card reading, which is so stupid for a tarot reading. So um took my entire audio of the reading um, and I just think so sneaky and underhand and <sighs> deplorable you know to steal someone's content but to actually go to the lengths of trying to hide that it is another <laughs> reader like hide you know their their image um alter their voice and pass it off as their own reading i just find absolutely disgusting and uh, i looked at the channel they have other readings up it's different accents all the time obviously i'm scottish there's an english accent um for one of the readings and an american so they're obviously doing it to a lot of people um, but i just wanted to shout out like thank you so much to the people who notified me of this um and also reported the channel as well so um you know they should be getting flagged and and that video at least i hope the channel gets removed to be honest um but yeah just to let you know, this is the only channel I have, Queen Diane, and if you ever hear my reading somewhere else, then, you know, you let me know. Also report, because, you know, it is um, not me stealing my content. I've also heard this is happening on Instagram, but I'm waiting to hear more about that. Um, and I know that's happened to other readers on Instagram as well, people just stealing content, which I just, I honestly was in i was really upset about this yesterday it's the reason i didn't have a video up yesterday so i'm sorry about that guys but i'm still quite upset about it you know i work really hard um on this channel and i do everything all by myself and to have someone just take my content like that really hurts me um 
So I'm not going to talk about it too much longer because I'm getting quite upset again. But just to be aware this is going on, it's happening to other readers and I just hope these people get their channels removed and pages taken down on Instagram and things because it's just not on. So this is why I keep saying this is my tarot reading, Queen Diane, so that <laughs> even if they steal this, uh, people will know. Right, even as I'm shuffling these cards here, guys, um, underneath the sun before I started the reading was um, the Six of Pentacles, so equal effort, balance coming in and things. Um, just as I was shuffling, every time I stopped, while I was talking, I was looking at the cards, I saw the Six of Cups, uh, you know, returning, reconciliation, someone coming back that you may have lost hope about, and even just, um, you know, stop shuffling there, Ace of Cups, you know, new beginning, in love here, new chapter, an offer from someone. So, um, I just really feel that there is a lot more to be hopeful for that, you know, you just may not be seeing right now. Also, the thing is, when you're, even if you're in a really high vibration about the situation and you just kind of like, um, you know, know this is on the way and, you know, you believe in yourself and your person and things, it can take a while, you know, time is, is fluid as well, we say, for it to show up in the 3D. So I feel yet some of you may be like, well, but I'm feeling really good. Why is this not manifesting yet? But it, it can take a while to trickle down from um, the 5D to the 3D. So I just wanted to, to let you know that. Um, also, I keep getting this message but about people dreaming about their person an awful lot, like every night maybe. Um, it's almost like you feel this person is on the approach. So take that if it resonates, my loves. Okay, what is this card coming out here? Another ace, ace of swords, the ace of truths coming out here. Air energy, <clears throat> someone being authentic, clarity coming forward here. So, you know, truth, clarity, honesty here to go with this hope and good luck. So um, it's about communication as well. So you may hear some communication that kind of restores uh, your hope and like faith in, in this and your person and things. Let's see what else we get to go with this. <clears throat> Oof. Yeah, so I just love how the cards come out. <laughs> Two of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the world. So you may be dealing with a Taurus and Leo again, Aquarius, Scorpio. This is all about a new chapter. You know, this is about when you've gone through kind of all oh, this, this is a major arcana, so major change, major like move and energy shift. When you've gone through all those major arcanas, the world comes out. It's, it's a brand new beginning coming in here. Also a truthful beginning. It's, it's a new energy for sure here, Ace and the world. Now, you, I just feel divine feminines may um, be wondering, you know, if you're really going to get this new chapter with your person. It's kind of like you're sort of going back and forth um, in your mind about this, you know, choppy waters in the background here. And you're kind of wondering, are they really behind us? You know, those, those stormy seas, or is this something that, um, you know, we can't have, we can't move past that. So I just feel you're kind of up and down about this. Your person may have been a bit in the land of indecision there. Um, about how to come forward, move forward with this. But yeah, a lot of new energy coming in here between you guys. Change A lot of big changes, basically. That's what I'm getting. Oh, it was 11-11 when I said big changes. Ooh. I love it. So yeah, going from that Two of Pentacles, like, can we have this? What's going on? Two of Cups, my I love you card. You know, Twin Flames, true counterpart here. Uh, Leo energy again. I feel like Leo's really strong here today. Even if you're not kind of dealing with a Leo or, and you're not Leo yourself, it may just be indicative of this like 
strength, energy I'm getting, this like powerful kind of energy taking charge here. I, again, this is about reconciliation, wanting to come back together here, knowing that you are their person, you know, it's wanting to make up between the two of you. You know, they really do love you. Uh, as I said, this is my I love you card. So, I mean, they have a great deal of love for you which they may not always show, unfortunately, but it's it's here. Yeah. A little message coming forward here. Could be dealing with a younger earth sign here as well, the page. It's, you know, wanting to, to reach out here with a little offer. Page of Pentacles is really loyal as well. Um, and we've got like loyalty in the sun card here with the sunflowers. They're all about like loyalty, longevity, and a strength as well. I just feel this person um, realizes how loyal you've been to them. Um, I'm actually seeing, there's a card. I don't know if it's in this deck. I, I got some confessions. Um, cards here i don't know if the card's in here but the card i'm seeing is there's one and it sort of talks about how your person realizes that you've been by their side like a long time and they they really cherish that and they notice that they acknowledge it that's what i'm seeing in my mind um yeah this is quite a childlike energy we've also got the the child here in the sun card as well so some of you may already actually have children with your Divine Masculine, um, but I kind of feel they have been working on some um, childhood issues going on here. But yeah, it's a little a message here, um, a text, a call, kind of trying to reach out for this reconciliation. Um, I also just get that the Divine Masculines here... Um, you know, an awful lot of them, you don't trust them, you know, because of past actions. And I just feel like they really want to change that, you know. They want to work on that. It's kind of like repaying your loyalty. Divine masculine energy coming in here. Like, I just feel they want to be loyal to you. And this is why this Two of Cups is also here as well. So yeah, a bit of a, an impromptu <laughs> live reading here, guys. So <laughs> I don't know how many people will see this. Make sure you do share um, the message. That would be really helpful. And also the more likes we get, the more YouTube recommends it and the message is shown. Because like I say, I just kind of randomly switched this on, basically. Four of Cups. Hmm. Okay, so they are really unhappy with themselves about not grasping your love, you know, when you offered it, you know, maybe focusing on third party energy here, person or, you know, situation, addiction, anything, anything, it doesn't have to be a person, you know, anything that gets in the way of your connection. They're unhappy with themselves, you know, they're unhappy that they may not have been um, authentic, authentic or um, truthful with themselves. Here. They want to change that, hence this this big change of the world here, this new portal. Um, but, you know, this is kind of going back to what I feel for Divine Feminines. Um, I've been getting this message in the collective the last week or so, a little bit like back and forth. Um, you know, do you, do you trust this person, you know? Um, are you kind of going to be receptive to them you just a little bit feel undecided you know it's if both of you have not been you know very happy in your lives or fulfilled at the moment I just feel but you're kind of it just feels like you know sitting under this tree like really doing some deep thinking like do you do you kind of, do you want this? Can you trust this? They want you to trust them. 
the devil. Mm, yeah, so may have been a bit of a devil towards you in the past here. Inner demons, I feel, for this person. Again, this is karmic energy. Uh, you may be dealing with a Capricorn, this is Capricorn. Um, you know, we've had this third party situation twice here now. Um, so yeah, there may well be a karmic person involved. Um, but it also is about releasing that, releasing those chains, the bondage of that situation, which may have kept them stuck for a while here. Um, but I just feel them doing the work to kind of release themselves from whatever that is. It could honestly be, for me this wee cloud of smoke here <laughs> with the cup, it can be... Um, you know, smoking too much or smoking weed as well, things like that. Something to like cloud their judgment, literally. Um, but releasing themselves from whatever that was, um, so that they're they're free basically. So there's something here that may have kept your divine masculine stuck from having this new start with you. But you know, hope and the sun and kind of the overall energy of this reading. Bear that in mind, guys, because it just feels like you're going to get a load of luck. It could even be financial like abundance coming in here as well. It just feels like there's a lot of good news um, on the way for you. Nine of Pentacles as well. So Divine Feminines, you may be doing extremely well in your business, just in your life in general, though. Um, having that kind of inner confidence that a strength doing your own thing you know you're self-made and you're independent um you know and to be honest <laughs> like the message i'm getting is your person needs you far more than you need them i get that message sometimes for the collective and i'm hearing it a lot here today like they you're you, you're the stronger out of the two as divine feminines tend to be you are the stronger so this person may have let themselves uh, get seduced by this devil whatever this karmic energy is um but you know the sort this sort of truth ace of swords is about cutting something out of your life so i just really feel like Cut, cutting a karmic situation out. If you didn't see my reading uh, that went up Sunday, um, I did get a lot of kind of karmic um, info in that about divine masculines uh, situating a karmic situation, whatever that is. So go and check that out if this um, resonates. But they're certainly cutting out something toxic here. Something toxic. You know, that maybe took their focus away from the Two of Cups. Let's get some confessions here from Divine Masculine. <clears throat> Interesting. Hmm. I play victim so I don't look bad. Oh. Don't like that. <laughs> I don't like this card. So yeah, it kind of feels like this devil is kind of facade, you know? Your person may have looked like, it's weird, like kind of placing the blame on you, like something was your fault for the way they acted or what happened between the two of you. It's like they don't want to, yeah, they're just trying to hide it from other people. Like they don't want to look like they've been the problem here. <sighs> Not very nice. Or maybe even it's just acting in a way to push you away so that you ended things and then it doesn't make them look bad. It's something like that, guys. Oh, hi, Song. How are you doing? I ran because I was in denial of my emotions, right? So... This will be why, you know, the first card tends to be the most important one. This, all about truth here, authenticity. 
They were in denial, but they're kind of cutting that away, that denial. You know, and that leads to this new start between the two of you. It leads to like a reconciliation. Oh, yeah, I knew it. Okay, this energy really strongly here, addiction. So some of you are definitely dealing with someone and addiction is, is an issue here. Um, substances, so it could, well, yeah, it doesn't have to just be substances, but I'm getting substances quite strongly here. Um, it can be alcohol, drugs, um, you know, sexual addictions, gambling. This is, there's some kind of like addiction here that, you know, has come in between you and has made them, um, you know, this kind of prisoner almost. Yeah, I knew addiction was strong here today. Um, <clears throat> I feel like they're really fighting against that though, because going back to the sun and hope here, it's the sun is divine masculine energy. So that's about almost like Divine Masculine's having that hope again, having that inner hope, fighting this, you know, darkness with the light, with you here. So you give them great inner strength as well. Um, let's maybe get one more of this. Hmm, interesting. You know, I mentioned at the beginning about Divine Masculine's um, working on childhood issues here. For some of them as well, that's likely to have led to these kind of addictions. If people have childhood trauma, um, you know, that can be part of it. Um, we've also got parents, poor connection with our parent, parents. So, um yeah, definitely working on that kind of childhood wounding. I feel fear of abandonment with this. You may have been abandoned by a parent as well. Or kind of feel like they have. Kind of feel like they don't have any parents because they're just not close to them. There's just some issue there. Um, and express. Music, writing, art. So if you're not hearing a direct, like, communication from your person uh they may be expressing how they feel about you in other ways so divine masculines they may be musicians here writers artists um and you may be see seeing that in other ways um especially if you're still connected on social media they may be posting things quotes even um poems writing music here and it's like subliminal messages about you so they're kind of expressing themselves in those kind of creative ways i feel um and i'm gonna get some heart oracles probably be about half an hour this reading louise so something just flip there oh no flipped and out it comes that's so weird yeah illusions clouded judgments unbalanced skewed again for me this card a lot of the time this cloud of smoke can be like an actual substance causing that uh, again i'm getting like smoking something that clouds your judgment whatever substance that is but yeah there's definitely something here <clears throat> which um, it has just not made them think clearly about your situation. Um, you know, it's caused them to have like a skewed view. Um, and perhaps, you know, act in ways that they really wouldn't have if they weren't under this like cloud of illusion, you know. Um, but again, I'm drawn back to that Ace of Swords that we got right at the start. I feel I really feel this is something they're working on to cut out. So I'm really glad to see that. Um because you know addictions are just so heartbreaking. Um yeah.
And I know this card's got addiction on it as well. Oh my God, there's such a strong message of that. Infatuation, adoration, addiction, compulsion. Okay, so for one, because the devil's also about passion and obsession too, okay? Which I honestly think I got in my last reading as well came out that they're obsessed with you. In fact, it definitely did. So go and check out the video before this that I posted on Sunday if this is resonating because there's a few more confirmations. But um, yeah, like being obsessed with you, being obsessed with their person, their two of cups, you know, you. But again, this message of addiction here. And so I feel with the word compulsion as well, um, I'm, I'm getting the, your person, your, some of them here for sure, can be really impulsive, like a really impulsive personality. And it causes them to do a lot of things that they end up regretting. And it's that kind of ad addiction mind uh thinking you know um there's definitely an issue for a lot in this group definitely an issue loss grief sorrow pain <clears throat> so you know the thing is they've been in an incredible amount of pain um without you you know, whatever kind of separation you're in, you know, that's just, that just makes it easier to kind of like describe. But, you know, as Twin Flames, you are always in union as you are one soul. But, you know, if you're not talking or you're not in obviously the type of relationship you want to be with your person, you know, they feel that too, the sorrow. Uh, I, I feel this honestly links a lot to do with um addiction and this childhood um these childhood issues here again some of them could be dealing with grief of a parent um you know the loss of that we really haven't dealt with their grief um fully yet um yeah i i just feel that that's it could be grief, you know, losing someone else, but I feel like it's apparent for a lot of them here, you know. And so, again, that's even though, you know, if there's a death, someone hasn't chosen to leave. A lot of people feel that kind of abandonment of the person um, passing away. You know, it's almost like comes up like abandonment. And I just feel that's linked to this addiction as well. Um and you know your person um a lot of the time like abandoning you before you can abandon them just in case you might you know the slightest chance this person's got a lot of issues with that um but fighting it i just feel fighting this devil energy with the ace of swords and the sun and having this like inner hope themselves you have it you know, and they have it, and I just feel, you guys, your luck's going to be changing, because this is like, this reading is quite intense, you know, it's quite hard going, I just feel like this has been a real struggle, back and forth between the two of you, and a karmic person could have got in between you a lot of the time, as well. So let's get some advice from the Romance Angels. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This soul connection, this divine connection, you know, twin flame. It's helping to bring you back in. That's a lot to do with having this um, hook. You know, it's almost like, you know, we've got visualizations here. It's manifestation, you know what you think about you bring about you know you're tracked what you are you're tracked so if you can try and um maintain this hope and be in that really kind of high vibe positivity it does help kind of attract that 
into your life. It's honestly like you two are calling each other back in because they really need you. Um, like I said earlier, if you've just joined, just to kind of reiterate, this person needs you more than you need them. Like you're definitely the stronger of the two and they need your strength. They need your like light. Because if they've been, because this is quite like toxic karmic energy, the devil, you know, um, not all karmic partners um, are toxic, you know, they are there to help your masculine um, through lessons that they haven't kind of learnt before and help them be ready for you, to be honest. Um, so, you know, but... <sighs> It just tends to be, um, a lot of them are pretty toxic individuals. And so if they've been with someone like that as well, they're going to be like really negative and dark, you know, dark energy, like pessimistic, just keeping your masculine downtrodden. They need your light, you know, because you're like the total antithesis of this karmic person there was a person involved in your connection keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations you know just a little nod to twin flames um there tends to be a lot of differences um between who you're used to dealing with so keep an open mind um but again, I mean, there's no twin flame cards in these decks. So like even the fact it's talking about them being your soul connection, it's not even like up for discussion. They just are. They are your two of cups, you know, and you both know that. Whoa. Okay, it's only two. I thought that was more. <laughs> it's like it's maybe too many cards. Mm. Yeah. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So they've kind of really got to to learn to love themselves. Um, you know, you can't really love anyone else till you love yourself. And because I just feel like Divine Feminines here are doing a really good job of loving yourself first. You know, loving yourself first, you and them, like, brings brings the two of cups back together. Pay attention to the red flags. Um, yeah, I, I just really feel this addiction energy, you know, could be the red flag here. So, um, you know, be cautious if your person is not like ready to come forward because some of the divine masculines you really can't keep away from you and they may come forward when they're not ready to sometimes because they just miss you so much but just a little warning if they're still uh in a kind of low vibration look out for that but you know as i keep mentioning i i just feel the divine masculines here are really kind of fighting through whatever battle that is um, I think we'll just get one more, actually. Yeah, unrequited love. Okay, so there wasn't enough love, like, from them to themselves and maybe from you to yourselves, you know, um, before to kind of keep you guys together because you've got to, like, love yourself first, you know, and this is what you've been doing, Divine Feminine. And I really hope this is what the Divine Masculines have been working on. I feel like it is because there's such great hope coming in here. But this is like the lesson uh, that both of you may have had to learn. Hi, Lindy. It's so good to see you. Um, oh, guys, just took a quick note. I've got so many emails um, to get back to people about. Um, you know, I'm not ignoring anyone. I really have to kind of concentrate on... Um, you know, personal reading bookings and things, but I get a bit overwhelmed sometimes because I just have so many emails and, and things to to do for the channel and stuff. Um, but uh, I'm trying to get back to everyone that's that sent me an email. So I just want you to know because I love you guys and 
you know, <laughs> I just want you to do that. But yeah, a big lesson here about loving yourself first. Um, and for me, the sun being divine masculine energy and having that inner brightness again, um, it's about like enlightenment and awakening and feeling better within yourself. So I feel the divine masculines here really learning to love themselves first. They didn't before, you know, and if they were with someone who didn't treat them well, it's because they didn't think they deserved it a lot of the time, you know. But uh, fighting this battle, I would say. So um, let's get one more psychic tarot here. I think I called this the good tarot deck earlier. It's a psychic tarot. But guys, if this is your story, don't forget to leave me a little thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'm really active in the chat. Uh, subscribe if you haven't because I make videos all the time. Um, put your notifications on so you don't miss anything because it will alert you to lives and premieres and, and any videos I do and it helps the channel grow and uh, give me a follow on Instagram because I do other stuff over there as well uh, Instagram's at QueenDiane222 oh my god what a card to end on here what have I been talking about loads here this light of you, Divine Feminine. You're the light of their life. That's literally what I just heard. Light of their life. You're their soul, you know? And it's almost like, because you know we got that calling in your soulmate card. Like calling you in. Like calling your light in. You know, you heal this person. You support this person, you give them strength, you help them spiritually ascend, you know? Like, literally, you are the light. You're all over this reading. You're their hope. So, I'm going to leave it there. Powerful reading here. So, thank you so much for joining me.